Nuclear war inevitable to defeat Russian behemoths, says nuclear bomb sales team. Biden runs for second term as America can't find anyone better than an ancient, incontinent, kitty fiddling dementia patient to ruin the economy. I mean, run the economy. In the UK, Tory MP says COVID vaccines worse than the Holocaust, a titty twister, or a wet willy. Hello, experimental lab rats. Welcome to the fucking news. I'm totally in agreement with whatever the World Health Organization says about all and any medical treatments they say you need, especially if it's recently been developed in a response to a pandemic, the origins of which are still the subject of debate. Here are the headlines tonight. The war in Ukraine has very danger fold. Nuclear worry bomb conflagration age horror lolly. Putin baddie ball shrink, President Zelensky heroic tombolery marveloso, free world saluti, catchy flaky nationalism. Western allies fully supportage of salad bowl, yo, yo, army tanky missiles a go go. The fruity high Mars rocket geopolitical monster atomic bomby battlefield as the Russian president troops the escalation World War 3 PO, 4 PO. Unimaginably deathy NATO crumbly awful stern warning. President Biden waggy finger as poppy adult diaper at afternoon, nappy full wobbly auto cue past his bedtime sleepy sleep. In Germany, France and the UK, Salesforce news bloggery, hero worshipful underdog fiesta, blonde refugee, four mobile phonesy contraction, rare earthy mineral telecom contracting, miney miney money as Hunter Biden crack whore fuckery Peace, freedom, and democracy fold. Fumble, tit, fuck, mindsy, game, ass wipe. In America, as the selection process for the next presidential election looms, voters may be surprised that the Democratic Party can't find anyone to measure up to President Joe Biden as he seeks a second term. In a population of 360 million people, no one to match the mumbling Zimmer candy of Joe Biden. Not a single person of greater stature, mentally, physically, or politically. His ability to fuck up simple sentences, stumble, <laughs> stumble over the smoothest of floors, sleep through briefings or the signing of extrajudicial hellfire death orders are unparalleled. No one else has his unique combination of creepy behavior around children, loose grasp of reality, or principled policy stand when it comes to keeping Guantanamo Bay open, shipping more refugees back to Mexico than Trump, or sucking Saudi oil cock. Oil cock. Truly, President Joe Biden is as good as it gets when it comes to rich old white men, corruption, duplicity, and hypocrisy. So, get out there and register to vote. And there will be much more on that story later. In the UK, Andrew Bridgen has been suspended as a Conservative MP for spreading misinformation about COVID vaccination. It comes as he posted a tweet that compared vaccines to the Holocaust. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak condemned the remarks as utterly unacceptable, going on not to say the Holocaust was totally compulsory. People were sent to camps and forced into gas chambers against their will. In the UK, the vaccine rollout was totally voluntary. Well. Well, I mean, we were going to force people to have it or lose their jobs, but the idea of Western democracies forcing medical procedures on its population was a little bit, you know, sinister. Uh, so it's a good job we allowed you to choose, at least for that, <laughs> at least for now, although not in Austria, uh, France, uh, America, Canada, Germany, Denmark, Italy, New Zealand, Poland, Australia, I have the strangest dream. Thanks, and now the weather. The planet's fucked, it's your fault, and it's getting worse. Have a nice weekend. Hi, I'm Deke Jackson. I like a titty wank. Oh, I I'm also a Republican and an atheist, but I thought I'd get the important stuff out first, you know, the stuff about what kind of sex I like. I mean, this is after all our main concern at the moment, isn't it? Identifying people with their sexual proclivities, like the LGBT. Lesbians, that's people who want to have sex with cunts. Uh, gays, that's people who want to have sex with dicks. Uh, bisexual, cunts and dicks. 
And trans, that's people who God gave a cunt or a dick to, but they wanted a dick or a cunt. Oopsie. Uh, I hope none of my LGBT friends think I'm disrespecting them. I mean, they make up 3% of the population as a whole, with trans people making up 0.1%, so it's right and proper that we give as much attention and clamour uh, to them and make sure their rights are respected and their sexual preferences are repeatedly and prominently discussed. So I'm coming out as a heterosexual who likes a titty wank. Uh, I think we need to break down the 97% of the population who identify as hetero into subsets though for more accurate and respectful representation. Uh, some of my hetero friends are face fuckers, some are pussy lickers, some are regular pussy pounders, and some are just wankers. But whatever your sexual proclivity, I'm sure you'll agree that nothing is more important in the world at the moment than identifying yourself publicly by what your genitals like, ho oh, ho, and what genitals you'd like to play with. So, I'm Deke Jackson, I'm a titty wanker, and I'm proud of it. Now, I'm also an atheist Republican, and I'm just wondering when that identity might get a little attention in the culture war. After all, atheist Republicans are 40% of the population and heterosexuals 97%. So, like, could we have an atheist Republican Doctor Who who regenerates from the woke lesbian slack-jawed mouth breather we have at the moment, <clears throat> appears on Earth, opens his eyes and says, Gosh, you don't still have royalty, do you? Oh, right, let's fuck them up. What's that? Large numbers of people still believe in God and are allowed to operate machinery and hold jobs in public office? Are you fucking shitting me? Right, cue a CGI adventure dispatching with the stupidity of bygone ape. Or uh, how about a series of stories on the news about people coming out as Republican, atheist, etc. Hi, I'm Man United's new striker, captain of the England football team, and uh, I don't believe in God, and I want rid of these fucking parasites who call themselves our royalty. How about a flag or a badge, you know, a branded little colour scheme for us atheist republicans, you know, like, mm, I don't know, a brain icon, or something, something intelligent that says, I am not stupid enough to believe in God, and I'm not one of your fucking subjects. Hey, I know, maybe I could get a sovereign reassignment certificate from the government. You know, it's like gender reassignment, only for atheist republicans who have to live in a nation where unelected bishops and lords make laws and the king still calls me his fucking subject. How about we all get worked up about the prejudice and bias towards us and the injustice we face, the persecution, the discrimination. How about someone on the Strictly Come Fucking Dancing says, ah, yeah, it's great I have to make the finals. I don't like the king, by the way. He's an old-fashioned and we can live without the monarch. How about, in short, any of the wannabe social fucking justice warriors start looking around at the large-scale structures of society and make some noise. Well, you think it's okay to have bishops, lords and royalty because you're allowed to be gay now, really? Is that the fucking end of your interest in remodeling the world? Fuck the king, fuck God, fuck religion, fuck religious people in general, and fuck the aristocracy. Are we to be considered subjects and sinners forever, so long as we can parade our sexual proclivities in public? Well, I'll swap you a gay pride march, 3% of the population, for a fuck God and all his moron adherents, 40% of the population, any day of the week. Thanks, I'm Deke Jackson and uh, I don't give a fuck what you think. Be well, be free, be happy.
lives You will need shades to see through the lies Of an animal life on flow For millions of years we were going with the flow For business, the glory of life run by bankers and whiz kids. People scream, feed me, I'm fat. Consumers consume and the markets react. Hyper security and super paranoia. Dig up the jungles, let's start a fire, fire. Burn up the trees, profit loss margins, share equities. It's a crazy world. Enough for me. I'm pretty sure it could get a lot weirder than this.